Hey guys, welcome back to Furika Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Honda Accord that generation from year 2008 to year 2012, guys. If you have one of those and uh, you need to find where the fuses for the sound amplifier is located, guys, which fuses you need to check. It could be multiple fuses in many fuse boxes. Stay with us, we'll explain where they're located, where you can buy cheap fuses and relays that way you don't waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered in this video today for your convenience. Make sure you stand till the end. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. If you have that Honda Accord, that generation from year 2008 to 12, we'll be making video for every fuse, every relay. Why we do that, guys? To save you time and money. Because in the manual, it's not clear what the fuses are for. On those little bitty labels, you have abbreviations that you have no idea what it means. And let's say you're down the road, you need a fuel pump fuse, or you need to find a cigarette lighter fuse because you cannot charge your phone and your navigation doesn't work. Stay with us, guys. And we're going to share videos on that channel for every single fuse and relay. Uh, another thing, every single car guys that we get at our garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. The mechanical videos will be on our main YouTube channels right there guys. All together we have about 1.2 million subscribers. We have helped over 1 million people save thousands of dollars. And uh, let me show you something else guys. If you need to buy relays, fuses at a really good price guys we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from that way you don't waste the uh, time and money guys uh, because some of those could be really expensive you have those special fuses uh, that are specific honda fuses that could be really expensive hard to find and uh we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can find the fuses realize that way you don't waste your money so now guys okay the uh, sound amplifier fuse where it is located we're going to demonstrate on 2010 Honda Accord right here. Uh, quick fact, you have three fuse boxes, today we'll be working in two of them. The first fuse box that we will need to open is on the inside and we'll come to the passenger side in the foot well on that kick panel here. We have one cover, remove that cover and you're going to open a fuse box layout that will look just like this one. Now, uh, guys, before we continue, let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so here we'll need to check one fuse in that fuse box and we'll need to go to another one if you zoom in next to the fuses you have fuse numbers which makes it really convenient and the fuse that we need to check is fuse number 15 we're talking about that 20 amp fuse right here that's the one for the sound amplifier now in the engine management fuse box you have one fuse that provides power to uh, a few fuses in that interior fuse box so that's corresponding fuse that you need to check as well it's in that main fuse box under the hood and once you open that cover you'll see that layout here here you guys have three multi-block fuses that consist of many fuses integrated in one big fuse and uh, they look like that let us show you that's a top view and side view right here if one of them burns you have to replace the whole fuse block that's bad news good news we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from at a good price and quick shipping but here if you come right uh, there now we need to find fuse number two guys specifically we're talking about fuse number two that's right here that's fuse number two and here if you start on the bottom and count one two three four that fourth section right here for the fuse that's the one that you will need to check. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.